Hi there, Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! It is 7.01 on Wednesday. How are you tonight? I hope you've had dinner. Hope you're having a great time. The weather's gorgeous. So, I'm going to flip you around. We've got some stuff to talk about, some stuff to create. Let's go. So how are you guys tonight? Hopefully you're doing well. It's the week before spring break. So I know my teachers are trying to survive. <laughs> That's all we're going to say. Huh? So for tonight, I'm going to get the computer up, ready and going. And make sure everything's turned off how it's supposed to and all that fun stuff. Hey Cheryl, how are you? So if you're joining me, please say hello, where you're coming from, if you've hiked recently, you know, any great stuff. I had um, a hummingbird that was just sitting right outside my window, hovering, and I don't know about you, but I firmly believe in signs, and it was yesterday, and that happened to be my grandma's birthday, and she loved it hummingbirds and I'm not talking like 20 seconds I'm talking probably a good almost five minutes this hummingbird was just sitting there so kind of amazing so you know if you look for it there's greatness everywhere right hey Iris how are you hey Gina so um for tonight I'm going to start with a couple of things to let people get on and everything else. So what I'm going to be doing from now on is doing what I call housekeeping in the beginning. So I'm going to be doing some, here's some new kits, here's the new flyers, that kind of stuff. Then we're going to go into question of the day and all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to get to creating just to give you a rundown of what's going on. So I'm going to grab my trusty pen. And we're going to do question of the day stuff in a minute. I know, isn't that awesome? I just love things like that, you know? Um, so, I have to tell you, there is a new kit. This is not Paper Pumpkin. This is our regular kits. It's $23 plus shipping plus tax, okay? Um, you will be able to, you get stamp set you get the ink spot and all the stuff to do it, right? Of course, right? So the stamp set, you shine like the stars, have a great day. I love the stamp set. Hey, Pen, how are you? We were just talking, weren't we, honey? <laughs> so your smile makes the world a brighter place. Inspired by your kindness, no act of kindness is ever wasted. Kindness wins, you are so amazing. Pass it on, hello, thanks, you made my day. And in the very, very small print, kind people are my kind of people. Love it. So, um, this is the stamp set that goes with the new kit called Kindness. Kind, ugh. Anyways, just ask me, we'll be fine. So, these are the materials. I do not have it yet. It was available to order starting yesterday. Yes, I did order it. So you will see it eventually but we're a little bit behind on the shipping process. Why? Oh, because demonstrators got to do pre-orders for the new annual catalog. So my pre-order was, shh, don't tell Joel, 700 bucks or something like that. So um, I got stuff for the VIPs. I got stuff for my team. I got stuff for the open house. I got stuff for half a season and I got like, 48, 54 catalogs. So if you haven't told me you want one, if you've ordered with me since December 1st, you're automatically on the list. If you are not sure, please let me know. It's just that simple. I also have a page on my um, website, stampingwithjohnny.com, and that has a catalog request form. So. It's however you want to contact me and whatever you want to do. I'm trying to make it easy. 
Um, if there's another way you would prefer contact that I don't have set up, just let me know. It's not a guarantee I'll do it, but if I don't know that it's lacking, I can't fix it. Hey Pam, how are you, honey? So these are, this is what comes in the kit. And like I said, I'll do a little pop-up video once, once it comes, but I didn't want it to sell out in three days because I don't know this and me not tell you about it because that's the worst, right? So the cards finished are three by three. So I'm assuming the envelopes are like probably three and an eighth or three and a quarter. And then it's chipboard or coaster material. So I was like, if we laminated them or if we sealed them in some way, could we actually make them coasters because they come in this cute little tin and then can we use the envelope for something totally different? Hmm. Yeah, that's where my mind goes, right? Hey, Randy, how are you, hun? Alrighty, so that's the kit. 23 bucks. Not 19 like we usually do. And honestly, all the prices are going up. The only thing that's staying the same is the $15 class. That's, that's it. Like, gas is more than double, so the class is staying the same. How? Because that's what I feel. So it's just what it is and it's okay, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So yeah, 700, hmm. Um, that's about typical for me to set up my season. So, um, yeah, it's not cheap <laughs> to be a crafter, is it Randy? So if you guys don't know, head on over to, and I don't know how to say your last name, hun, so you'll have to help me you know, if you can, if you can put it in the comments phonetically, that would be great. I'm going to say Debert, but I could be messing it up. But if you go to Debert, uh, just, just put the, just put your page down there. He does engraving. He does really cute light up stuff and cups and all kinds of stuff. Hey, Carol, how are you? So he's a fellow business person. Support him. Randy, put it in the comments of what your page is. I'm so sorry I'm blanking right now, but I got about 15 things going through my head. <laughs> so I love to help and support where I can. <laughs> so he's another farmer's market guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but he's there every week. I'm only there once a month. All right. So back to it. Craft class. You're like, oh, it's not till the 14th. Guess what? That's next week. So the craft class is the 14th or the 16th, Thursday or Saturday, Thursday up at Jode's up in Yucca. So, um, here's the deal. Monday is the last day to reserve your seat for Thursday. Wednesday, Wednesday, next week Wednesday by midnight is the last day to reserve your seat for Saturday. Okay? And I'm going to tell you. I check first thing in the morning, like 6.30 in the morning when I get up. So the midnight thing is not a hard fast, but it has to be before I wake up Thursday morning. And that's all there is to it. So this is still 15 bucks for my team. It's 10. Okay. We're going to be doing three projects. And on top of it, you go to get a bonus pack of the black matte, matte black I always go backwards. Matte black dots. Okay? So there's that. Third, the kit, the craft class. Okay, new catalog open house and BOGO. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Bye. Have a great dinner. <laughs> so um, so check his page out, definitely. So um, let's see, new catalog, open house, and BOGO sale. So, Saturday, April, April 23rd, anytime, 10 to 2. Drop by, pick up your annual catalog, stay to create, pick from the BOGO sale, and get more tickets for the raffle. If you are VIP or on my team, first off, you're going to get goodies. Second, on top of the project, on top of the raffle, on top of, okay? Second, if you're VIP and team, I will be emailing emailing that list out no later than Wednesday so you have a couple days to shop. 
I will be pulling what you have picked and then on Saturday I will have everything out and on top of it I will have an empty table so you can take pictures because you're not going to be taking it home, right? Because it's technically not retired yet. So how BOGO works, you pick what you want. Say I pick 20 bucks worth of stuff, okay? When I pick 20 bucks worth of stuff, I'm committing to order 20 bucks in the new catalog, okay? When you commit to order 20 bucks in the new catalog, by the time it goes live, and I'll have all the deadlines put out and everything else, but we're not there yet. You commit to do that. Because it's not retired, you do not go home with product. But in the past, I've had several people that have said, what did I pick? Can you take a picture and send it to me? So this time, if you wanna know what you've picked, you need to take a picture of it. And I'm gonna have a table where you can lay everything out and you can take a picture. So there's that, okay? So that's how that's gonna go. But for VIP and team, you will get it emailed out before the open house, like Wednesday probably. And then if you do not come to the open house on Monday, it will go out to all crafters. So that's how this is gonna work. By the way, the raffle prize is the five new in colors in ink pads. Okay, so there's gonna be contests, there's gonna be an Easter egg hunt, there's going to be, not just at the open house, but like all month long, and then it will not be raffled off until the end of the month. So you will know if you won them before you have to place your order, okay? So there's that. Sorry about that. The um, survey people want to have my opinion. They don't get it unless they pay for it. I don't give anything out for free. <laughs> so, all right. So that's that. So we're gonna have a photo table, okay? So what that means is black tablecloth. So you can see what everything is and you will have a, a table where you can put your stuff down and take a photo. So make sure your phone is charged or you bring a cable because I have the ability to um, have a solar charger and have all kinds of different things. So just let me know how I can help. So, all right, so enough of that. Let's do the important part, right? Okay, so if you are replying, you need to reply with hashtag Question of the day. Can everybody read that? Everybody got it and all that kind of stuff. Okay. If you want to order and have it qualify for club, okay. 92-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-
two so far. So I'm going to tie this with our evening evergreen chevron ribbon, which is also retiring. Boo hiss. But I understand. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> This is this was one of my favorite ribbons, especially in the fall. I love the texture of it. I loved how it looked, you know, all that stuff. So let's see. I did this cattywampus because the gems are this way and the folders are that way, but it doesn't matter because whoever wins this is going to untie it and hopefully use it. <laughs> so there you go, huh? All right, so there's my bow. Let's see, how'd I do? My bow's not really wonky. I'm pretty happy about that. So we're in a trim. We're in a trim. So that is the raffle for tonight. All right, so shall we get to creating? <laughs> yes, we're in a box. Okay, gotcha. I don't know when that will be though, because my catalogs, have, I ordered everything at the same time. My catalogs have already come. No, they're not prepped. I have to still print off shopping lists and wish lists and put stickers on and you know, all that fun stuff on top of functioning all the time. <laughs> Miss Gina, I have practiced bows um, for years. All right, Miss Carol, hashtag question of the day and then your answer. Why do I do that? So it looks the same when I'm scrolling through and I don't miss. Right, Pam? We don't want to miss. <laughs> so. Ah. And then Miss Penny for future. Question of the day. If you don't put any spaces, it'll highlight the entire thing for me. So we're good for this time, but for next time. All one word. Even though it's not how it's supposed to be at all. So, all right, so for tonight, I want to show you what I did, and then we're going to do a tiny bit differently with the second one, because we have to, right? So, all right, so for this one, I have a thick, basic white card base. I finally am not saying whisper white. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> so, Carol, don't forget to retype your thing. So, um, let's see. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and obviously folded. And then the mat size is, oh my goodness, five by three and three quarters, okay? For this Fresh Freesia one, this is out of the Heart and Home Designer Series paper. This will still be available till June. So when you're going through your stuff, hey Barb, how are you? Um, when you are going through your stuff, okay, do whatever you need to with the old annual catalog. Do not get rid of your mini yet. That is, that is good through June, okay? Do not get rid of the sideways one with the windmill, okay? <laughs> Just FYI. If you do, I have extras, but... If you can, please do not <laughs> toss your sideways mini one, okay? Alrighty, so heart and home five by three and three quarters, right? Okay, this is the back side of this one. This is four and a half by three and a quarter. And then this guy, I don't remember the length because I punched it and trimmed it a couple times because it was crooked. It started at five and a half, but it definitely did not end there. Um, but it's just under, just barely under an inch. Okay. Why is that? Because that's the opening for the punch. It's just that simple. So, all right. So with all that being said, <laughs> without gems on my hands and all that stuff, we have for the second card, the same, a thick basic white piece of cardstock cut in half, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, folded, done. Okay, I also have the gems already sitting out here. Why? Because I want to make sure I had them and didn't use them by accident or you know, whatever happens around here, right? 
when I'm doing approximately 40 cards a week on a slow week, things happen. <laughs> and it's just that simple. So I'm grabbing my stamp and seal. See, same print. So, and I'm going to make sure it works. Okay, there we go. So I'm grabbing my stamp and seal and I am putting my flowers up. Because nobody wants wilty flowers, right? Okay. Then make sure to flip that over. Do not glue the same side. And you're like, oh, John, that's obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was obvious, but some nights it's not for me. And that's all I must say. <laughs> so we're going to stick this to the side for just a second. And... I've got a scratch piece of just whis uh, whisper white, ah, basic white, and I'm going just a hair, just like not even a sixteenth of an inch, more like thirty second, like the back side of the line of the inch mark, okay? Just so it fits in that punch, okay? So we're going to do that. If you cannot make it to the open house and the BOGO sale, please let me know that you still want a catalog in that event because I'm not going to have, I used to have a separate or separate event for the catalog and then a separate event for the open house. I'm not doing that because it's too much to keep up with. So if you want a catalog, you can post it in the event. You can text me, you can do whatever. Okay. You want to push this as far as you can. Notice mine's crooked. You want to, Flip this over. I thought I was doing pretty good. Nope. <laughs> so that way it's straight. You want to make sure. See, this is where I can't tell you how long because if it's crooked, guess what I do? <laughs> I do that. And for some reason with this one, I have to look because if I don't, it just, it's all like, really crooked. It's just really, really bad. And I don't know why. I usually don't have that problem with punches, but this specific one, we're not going there. We're just not going to go there. So, all right. So I'm going to bring the machine up after I get everything out of the way. And I have to ask you guys, what do you have for dinner? Have you eaten yet? So, all right, so for tonight, I'm going to show you, this is the thanks folder. This is the hello folder. It's in all different languages. It's really cool, right? I already did the thanks folder, so we're going to leave that one to the side. Yes, this is white this time. So I'm going to pick what I want. So if I wanted to do bonjour, if I wanted to do hello, it, you know, you understand. If you want it facing up, then you want to have the side you want facing up towards you. What I mean is, if you want the letters raised up where the logo is, have your cardstock facing up. This way it really doesn't matter. But, like, if you have foil, it really does, right? So, all right, so... This is facing up. If I wanted it concave and not backwards, I would flip it and have it this way instead. Okay? So physically flip the paper over if I wanted it that way. But I don't, so it's okay. I hope you understood that. If you don't, let me know. It's okay. I know not everybody understands. All right, so... When we are doing a regular embossing folder, right? Okay, let's go over this. This is platform. This is number one, okay? The adapter plate is number two, and the cutting plates are number three and three. And then the specialty plate, the gray plate for the embossing folders is number four, okay? So with thin dies, meaning the wires, you're gonna use one, two, and both plates of three, okay? That's what that means. 
with standard embossing folders, which is what I'm using tonight, you're gonna use one and three. So not, not number two, okay? So three and three and one, okay? If I have 3D embossing folders, I'm gonna use the chunker, the one, and I'm gonna use four, the gray specialty plate. None of these guys, but not tonight, okay? All right, so we're gonna throw this on here. Hopefully hinge first, but I didn't remember to look. You'll get more life out of your embossing folders if you go hinge first, okay? So who knows if I did that or not, but Mine kind of get destroyed anyways, so I'm not... Oh, sorry. I knocked it. I realized it as soon as I did it. Okay. So I'm going to pull this guy out. And hopefully you can see that nice hello right there. So if you were aiming for monochromatic... I would leave it just like this, okay? But guess what? I'm not. <laughs> so instead, what I'm gonna do, and I was like, oh, let me correct my title. Not no ink, but very little. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing my dauber, I'm grabbing my basic gray, and I'm just lightly going over. Why lightly? Because I want as little on my actual background cardstock as possible. I want it to be on my letters and not so much on my background. So do you see how that, and I'll pull it up. Let me close this before I do any more harm. Okay, so do you see how there's very little ink in the background and more on the letters? Now, I did try this with a marker our Stampin' Write markers, not the blends, but our markers. And I didn't like it so much because it was very distinct and I still wanted a little bit of that kind of brushed look. So there's that. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncap elsewhere. This is the Wink of Stella. This is a pressure barrel. So if you have to shake it, you're not going to go chick -chick 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 because that's going to create air bubbles. And what's that going to do? Then you're going to have splotches and all kinds of things coming out. If you need to shake it because the glitter is stuck or you feel it is, you're just going to tip, 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 tip. Okay. I'm coming over tomorrow night, Carol. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Tomorrow night, I am getting ready for the Landers Craft Fair. So, all right. So, I'm going to squeeze a tiny bit. Well, come on. And what you'll see is down this chamber, if you can see the little sparkles coming through, that is the formula coming through. Okay? So, what I'm going to do... This just adds a tiny bit of shimmer. If you haven't used it, it's a great product. Except that I need a little bit more. There we go, I see it, okay. So I'm just going to hit the big spots here. Now this is going to be wet for a minute. So we wanna make sure that we don't like particularly touch you know, all that fun stuff. Squeeze a little more. Ah, oh, no! See? See what I mean about it like dropping? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hope and pray, right? I have enough to do the whole entire sentence now instead of just this. So what I'm going to do is go over this couple times and hopefully even this glitter out, oh my goodness, happens to the best of us and it's okay. You just got to play with it till it looks halfway okay. Now, would I have redone it? 
Hmm. Not necessarily because I'm doing okay covering it, right? So this is going to have a bit more. And then you can also take a paper towel. You can jot it on the, you know, we'll figure it out. So, yeah, that would work too. I actually used to be left-handed when I was very, very little, and my grandma switched me. So, <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Which is why when I play baseball or softball, I can still switch it to this day. So, there's your little-known fact about me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't need to know, but here we are. <laughs> yes, I can switch it. I can't kick very well um, switch switching, what is that, ambidextrous, but I can definitely um, switch on hitting, definitely, with baseball. So I know, all these fun facts, right? <laughs> so there you go. All right, so now, come on. Okay, if you wanted to do the edges to make it stand out, I wanted kind of more of a monochromatic look, but if you wanted it to really pop, you can also touch those edges. You know, it's up to you on what you do, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit my points here. My points, okay? So there's that, and then I'm gonna dot my pearls around just so it's a little more subtle. If you need the take your pick tool, piercing tool, snips, tweezers, I don't know, what else? I think that's about all I got. Anyways, so what do you think? Which do you like better, the, the gray label or the white label? as far as backgrounds go, is what I'm trying to say. I think they're totally different. That's just me. <laughs> so, go figure, huh? So I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna bring my app up to be able to do the raffle. You like the white, the white, the white, the white? My goodness, the white, the white, the white, hmm. I wonder if it's just because of the photo. Because in real life, I like the gray one. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going through. Going through, going through, going through. Question of the day. All right, Miss Gina, Miss Cheryl. I got to do a couple at a time so I remember because I got to put them in. I know there's more. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Pam, Penny, and Iris. Pam, Penny, Iris. Scroll, scroll, scroll. It's allowing me to scroll this week. Yay! <laughs> so, Barbara and Carol. Barbara and Carol. Oops. I hit the return instead of the B. <laughs> so, okay. Did I miss anybody? I hope not. I hope, I hope, I hope not. So. And then Barbara, you're supposed to come tomorrow to pick up your box. And I was like, I don't know if you want to come Saturday instead. Um, not this week, but next week for the BOGO sale. To like, um, get more bang for your buck for the certificate and all that kind of stuff. So. Think about it and let me know. I know it's tomorrow that you were supposed to come, but let me know if you want to change your mind and come to the open house and do the BOGO sale instead. I don't know what your plans are, so let me know if that works for you better. Just message me later. So, all right, drum roll please. Miss Cheryl, where's my drums? <laughs> she always has the best emojis. <laughs> so, all right. 
Drum roll! I'm gonna have to find one, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna have it pick my random. Miss Cheryl is the lucky winner for tonight. Cheryl, are you still on? Yeah, you just posted. <laughs> you just posted, didn't you? Thank you, honey, for finding the drums. <laughs> so, all right, Miss Cheryl. Congratulations, honey. Let's see. I got my label. Where's my fuzzy pen? I got to have my crazy fuzzy pen. If you guys don't know this, so the story behind all this, Joel probably doesn't know it either. He got it just as a, as a funny, right? And I absolutely love it because it reminds me to be functional as a crafter, but crazy enough to have fun. <laughs> so there, there you go. There's your, there's your story for the night. So thanks so much for joining me. There's Miss Cheryl. Okay. Um, I will be up in Yucca. If you don't want to wait till Saturday, you can meet me Thursday. Um, or if you're going to the cookie class, I don't know. So text me, let me know. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys tonight. So screenshot, open house for my team, for my VIPs, for anybody that wants a catalog, bring a friend. Um, and why is that? Because you will get more raffle tickets to possibly win the in color pads. So I bought all five extra. How? My team is going, how? We were only allowed one set. Well, we were allowed one bundle and then we were allowed to buy them separately. So I spent a little bit extra, but I technically got two sets. So, alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great evening. Follow me stampingwithjohnny.com and see you next week when we're doing a bunch of cards and they will all be simple because every once in a while we're in a hurry and you just need simple. So thanks so much. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.